As vaccines roll out and restrictions roll back, some of us are putting social events back on our calendars. While many have waited for this moment, some feel anxious about returning to social life. WCCO's Aaron Hassanza shows us where to start. When the pandemic hit, Tammy Roostad, a flight attendant from St. Paul, went from flying around the world to sitting on her couch. I could work up to, you know, four flights a day. That could be literally coming into contact with 400 people. But now that the end is in sight, she's feeling a little nervous. I haven't been in a restaurant in over a year. I haven't been to the salon in over a year. But there obviously is anxiety going forward as to what it's going to be when I get back out there. We take a year off, essentially, from... A lot of that yeah. what happens to us. We just lose that social muscle. Dr. Andrea Hutchinson says she's expecting to see more clients with social anxiety in the coming months. I think we all had that awkwardness at the beginning of Zoom, but now we've kind of lost the skills on the other end of how do we interact in real life. Excitement and anxiety can coexist. It's actually going to take a little bit for many of us to rebuild that social stamina. Dr. Craig Sachuk says often the way to fight anxiety is by facing it. It really is only through experience that we can start to push on those boundaries of that comfort zone again. Instead of ordering online, call the restaurant. Place your order over the phone. When it's safe, start small. Have coffee with a friend and add on from there. Each time you do that, the anxiety is going to get smaller. It's kind of like rebuilding life's true antidepressants. I think it will be awkward. And it probably will be, but only temporarily while we get back into things together. Erin Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. Dr. Sawchuk says clinical social anxiety is one of the most common mental health conditions that he sees. If you are constantly making and breaking plans because of social fears, you may want to speak with someone.